Hi, uh, let me show you a uh, couple of video editing options with Pratish. I will just take a video. I will click on edit option here. Uh, structurally, the way it works is this is where all of your uh, scenes show up. I am just scrolling up to show different screens. The scenes tab also shows me which is the scene which is currently active. As you notice, if I go down, it is also changing the scene number. This is one way of looking at scenes. If I click on the scenes tab, it will show me the different scenes here and also tell me which is the audio which is available here as part of the, like which is embedded in this video. Uh, first things, if I want to change the audio, I can go to the media tab. Within this, uh, I will have audio options. I'm sorry, some problem, okay. So within the media tab, I have images, videos and audios. If I click on audio, I can see a list of all of the audios which we get here. All of these are uh, copyright free uh, stock audios which I have gotten. Uh, you can also search by different themes. We are trying to add more uh, search options here. This is, if I just want to replace an audio, I can just click on any of this. And if you notice, this particular bit got replaced. If I want to trim this audio, I can click on the trim option. I can play the audio here. It will tell me how does it play. And I can also decide to uh, either trim it somewhere between this. Once I click on it, and uh, apparently, yes, I can just uh, try to move it. Once I click outside, it will then just play that particular trimmed uh, version out there. If I do not want this audio, and if you just want um, something which is uh, like an audio which is part of your video, you can just remove the audio from here, from this delete option. And once you do this, you will see an option within the video to unmute that. I'll show you that. Um, let me just do that once and so that we can close this. So I just remove this audio. And within scene 2, if I click on any video, there is this option called as unmute. Once you click on this unmute, what will happen is, whatever is the audio which is part of your video, it will start to play. Now, uh, please keep it in mind that within this scene, it's possible that the video does not play for the entire duration of the scene. In that case, the audio will only be available for that particular part when the video is playing. Uh, this was at an overall level of um, the scenes and the audios. Now let me just go within one scene. If I click on the timeline option, it actually just tells me what are the components of this scene, what are the different elements which are part of it. Now uh, let me just try to first play this scene. So what it is showing is this particular scene is um, 5.1 um, seconds long. If I click on play current, it will just play this particular scene. It will not play the entire video. Now, uh, within this scene, I can do a lot of changes. First thing, let me show you. How can you trim your video, within which is part of this scene? Uh, if I select a video, I see this trim video option here. Once I click on it, it will show the entire video. This is a 13 second video. And um, right now, the AI has just picked up the starting piece. I can try to see how does the video look like and if I want I can just move it somewhere I can ask it to start from here and until here something like that so all of these things I can do once I select my uh, like whatever part I want to do I click outside that particular piece will start to play now that's one option second is uh, let me show you the different uh, animate options here so again, as soon as I click on any element, for example, let me just do this. Uh, okay, so okay, so what I will do is I will try and change the animation for the text. So once I select the text, uh, I will see this animate option. Once I click on animate, I see that okay, there is an elastic animation. The duration is one and the delay is two. If I scroll down on the timeline, I also see uh, this particular piece which is highlighted. What it shows is this element, which is a text element, it has an entry delay and it is going to come as an elastic animation. Now let me just do one thing. Let me just reduce the delay to one second. If you notice, this also stopped, uh, sorry, reduced. And instead of an elastic animation, I will put it as a bounce animation with a duration of two. And I will ask it to come like this. Now once I play, if you notice, the animation of this particular text has changed. This is um, how you can 
change the animations the entry delay all of those things so there are entry emphasis exit all types of animations which are available and you can also change it for any kind of element so in this for every element whichever is there all of them can be uh, changed exactly like this uh, this is around what happens within every uh, particular scene apart from this rest of the things kind of uh, remain the same in case you want to use your own assets you can go to the upload tab instead of this let's say let me see if i have some video uh, instead of this particular video i just want to replace it with something which i had i will just uh, put it here and obviously i will need to make it a bit bigger i think i'm going to just place it like this might not look uh, okay and just let me try to uh, or let me just try to do it this way yep something like this let me just play this so this video is 7 second only and it's playing my particular video whatever i had instead of whatever uh, was pre-selected by the ai so rest of the things in terms of changing your images logos everything kind of remains the same i can also duplicate the scenes from here i can also remove the scene if i want to add a blank scene i can just add it as a page all of these features already uh, look the same uh, yes and last thing is in terms of templates you can also play uh, changing different different templates instead of this particular uh, template which i had i'll just switch to a different looking template and it will then actually switch it and make it as a different new version so as i as you see the color scheme and everything has absolutely changed keeping the new template in mind and you can also play this to understand how it uh, works so i think i've kind of covered most of the things from a video editing perspective uh, please let us know in comments if you have any questions thank you